Coconut oil is good for like the hair to keep it moisturized when it gets dry. And it just feel better on your face. So I'm gonna pop the uh dye in the bowl. Like, I have a lot of huh? a lot of brushes to wash. This. Oh, got so I got this little gadget thing on the jigger right here. I have another one. It go, it's one like that that goes on your fingers. I got that from Romway. I got this from Real Techniques. Look at that. It was, I don't remember how much it was. I just know it wasn't a whole lot. If I'm buying anything, it's not a whole lot of money, okay? I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of money on no gadget. Who does it? Who does it? People with money. I ain't got money. Anyway, so first thing you're gonna do, if you had coconut oil, you would mix the coconut oil with the dye. But again, I don't have none. The reason I keep saying it is because I'm kinda butter. I don't got no coconut oil. Oh well. I'm gonna lay my towel down on this counter. Like so. Watch this. Right? So I can just lay down the uh brushes that have been washed lay them down right and they can get dry so first what I do is I dip it into the bowl wow there you go right and then with this little thingy thingy I stir it around so basically what I was trying to say is um that first I dip it into the my dipping bowl and then I make sure that it's coated on every bristle. And then I get to swirl it on the little pad. Since my pad has like different um, designs that you can see, it will wash thoroughly and get all of the foundation or product out of the brush as best as possible. Some of the tips that I've learned while doing makeup for a little while, always, always 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 keep your brush facing down that's how you um make sure that it's no shedding and you make sure that all of the product is coming down as well like that might not be believable but trust me keeping your brush down while you're you're doing this is a game changer and always 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 use the same type of soap um, especially if you have sensitive skin. I don't really have sensitive skin like that. But one time I didn't use Dawn and I broke out. So, um, yeah. Just make sure that it's a special pattern. And always have like a towel on duty. That's why I made it into a thing that you need to have. Because you need to let the brushes uh, relax and dry overnight or for a whole day. Uh, just so all the soap is out. Um, and all of the coconut oil has seeped into the brushes and bristles. But yeah, now I'm going to start um, washing my eye brushes and my detail brushes. But yeah, I'm using the same method. I'm just sort of swirling around till I don't see any more color in the soap. And then I rinse until again I don't see any more color in the soap.
So these are all my clean brushes. They are ready to sit overnight. I'm gonna wrap them up in that towel and then yeah, wait for the morning. I really appreciate you guys for liking this video and um, please subscribe, hit that bell, and I will see you guys on the flip side. Goodbye.